My name is JP Gervais. I'm a senior ag economist at Farm Credit Canada. My role at FCC is to provide economic analysis to help our customers understand the drivers of agri-food markets, as well as to drive good business strategy at FCC. WTO stands for World Trade Organization. It's a global institution that is based out of Geneva in Switzerland. The main objective of the WTO is to reduce and lower trade barriers so as to increase trade flows of goods and, and services, as well as to make those trade flows more predictable and stable over time. The WTO offers a forum to conduct multilateral trade negotiations, meaning that different countries, you have more than 150 countries that are a member of the WTO right now, so those the countries sit at the table and simultaneously discuss different trade issues. The WTO also offers a forum to resolve trade disputes. And so whenever two countries don't necessarily agree on a trade rule, they can go to the WTO and follow a process that will resolve their differences. Well, Canadian agriculture produces a lot more than what we consume here in our own market in Canada. So it is important to have market access in foreign countries to sell that surplus. So anytime we lower trade barriers in a foreign market, it allows Canadian businesses to sell more of our products into those markets. But at the same time as we get market access in foreign countries, we do open up our borders as well. And you have some Canadian businesses that are faced with increased competition in our own market here in Canada. WTO negotiations are progressing so slowly. So right now, the emphasis and the focus has shifted towards negotiating with a single country instead of negotiating multiple countries at a time. And so in that case, it is a little easier to identify what are the important and relevant trade issues with that particular country. The prospects for Canadian agri-food trade are pretty positive over the long run. Some organizations are projecting that food demand could grow by as much as 70% over the next 40 years. That food demand growth is driven mostly by world population growth, but as well the emergence of a middle class in less advanced countries. These consumers in these low-income countries are spending a greater share of their budget on food purchases. As such, when their income is going up, it has more of an impact on world food demand, and Canada is well positioned to capture some of that market growth.